Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, first, before I start this video, I just want to say thank you to all the people who have watched my previous videos. It really means a lot to me considering that I'm just starting out on YouTube and I know it's so easy just to go watch someone, you know, like Laura Lee or whoever, just who is way more higher in quality and just better in general. But it really means a lot to me that people are taking the time out to come watch my videos. So, with that being said, today I'm going to be doing a video about some face masks, hits and misses, kind of. Basically just my thoughts on a few face masks that I owned and have owned. Yeah, so here we go. So before a bunch of people come at me and say, why do you own face masks that you don't like? It's because I am one of those people, I'm a makeup hoarder, I'm a beauty things hoarder. Even if I don't like something, I will still keep it just because I feel like I need it. Maybe my thoughts will change, maybe my skin will change and I'll react differently. And maybe I'll just like it one day, even though I probably never will. I just, I feel like I need it. I just can't get rid of it. So with that being said, here we go for our reel this time. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is something that I do like. It is the Studio 35 Beauty Cucumber Facial Mask. And I purchased this at Walgreens, I think, a while ago. This is actually my second bottle of this. And I really love this face mask. It's one of those face masks that you can just put on after you get out the shower. And what it is, is it's one of those face masks that dries down. I just put a little bit on my hand. You can see it's like a glossy texture. It dries down and it becomes really, um, like hard I guess and you peel it off and I really like the way it feels because it's very cooling like I can feel it right now it's very cooling to the touch and it makes your skin feel just really clean and healthy and when you tear it off it tears all your extra dead skin off your face so if you want to like exfoliate first and you know move all your skin cells around and whatever the fuck I don't even know but it it makes my skin feel so amazing I love using this after I get out of the shower and I actually haven't used it recently just because I've been being lazy but I really want to use this again I love it and it was only like five or six dollars and it's a pretty big tube you can see it's the same size as my face it's a pretty big tube for five to six dollars and I think it's just really affordable and I love the smell of cucumbers and it's just awesome okay so now moving on to something that I don't like so much so I have the carbonated bubble clay mask and before anyone tells me bitch why the fuck don't you like it it's so cool blah 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 let me let me just give you the tea on this this product is so cool if you want to have fun you put it on basically if you don't know what this product is you put it on your face with this little spatula and the little spatula comes on top right here and I know you can tell that it's dirty but I'm gonna explain why Basically what you do is you put it on your face and it applies just like a regular face mask and as you're using it, it bubbles up and it becomes like bubbly all over your face. I'm sure everyone has seen videos of it all over the internet. And then after it bubbles up, you rub the bubbles into your skin and then you rinse your face off and your face is supposed to be clean and fucking healthy and brightened and whatever the fuck. But let me tell you, it does none of those things. It bubbles up and you have a great time with it, but after it leaves like this residue on your face that I can't even describe. I mean, your skin just feels really like sticky in a bad way and it feels really unhealthy and it just doesn't feel good and I did not like the way it made my skin feel at all. I've used this mask about three times and I brought it probably about six months ago and this is actually the first time that I have opened this since the last time I used it, which was probably about two months ago, and look inside of it. It completely has like deflated because of the fact that it's a bubbling product. Every time I would use it, I would notice that the mask inside of it would bubble as well. And this mask, when I first got it, was filled all the way to the top and it has disintegrated into nothing. And it like, it's just, I don't know, it's just not the same as when I bought it. And if I didn't like it when I bought it, then why would I like it now after it looks all fucking ridiculous? So I'm going to have to hit this mask with a no. Also, I wanted to say, the mask really is fun to do. All the times that I've done it, I really loved doing it. It was so fun. It's just the after effect that I don't like. So if you're just looking to like have fun and you're not a person who uses face masks for actual, you know, usage, you just use them because you just want to have fun with your girlfriends or whatever, then definitely this is a fun product. It was only like 10 or $15, I don't remember, but it's not expensive. So if you just wanted something to play around with, then go for it. But as for actual usage and results, don't recommend. Okay, so back to something that I do like. This is actually my favorite face mask of all time. Um, I got it from Sephora and it is the Bosia, Bosia? I still don't know how to say that name. Bosia Charcoal Pore Pudding. And this is what it looks like. It's in a striped thing 
and it's not actually striped it's clear and the colors inside of it are black and white as you can tell I've used a lot of it but you can kind of see how it used to be black and white as you mix it together it turns gray and you put it on your face and you leave it on for 20 to 25 minutes and what it actually says on here is that it is an intensive wash-off treatment and it doesn't really say much on what it's supposed to do no it doesn't really say much on what it's supposed to do it probably did on the box but you know who actually keeps their boxes because not me I throw them away but yeah um I don't really remember what it's supposed to do but it makes my face so much brighter and I know that sounds crazy and most people say oh things are brightening blah 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 but it never actually is but this stuff actually is brightening and when I say brightening I don't mean that my skin looks whiter I mean that my skin looks dewier and just healthy and fresh and clean and just amazing it makes my skin feel so soft too and the scent of it is so nice it kind of smells like it has like a pepperminty scent but it's not mint I can't describe how it smells but it smells really awesome I think it was $38 at Sephora maybe um, this is the big size I'm pretty sure they do have a smaller size of this if you just want to try it or maybe you could even get samples of it but it's really awesome especially if you have really big pores it minimizes your pores too that is one thing that it does hence the name pore pudding but I really do love this and it also comes with a little spatula which I love because I hate when things don't come with a little spatula it's like how am I supposed to apply this with my finger and the way that I actually do it with mine is it comes with this small one and I actually just keep it inside of here for whenever I'm ready I already have it that's probably really bad and it's really messy but I love it okay so back to something that I don't like okay so as you guys know I am subscribed to BoxyCharm as well are most of you most likely and they sent us some sheet masks a little while ago probably about two months ago maybe they sent these sheet masks and I actually got four in my box most people only got three but I got four and they're all by the same brand and I tried two out of the four and I don't like them at all hence why I have not used these two now a lot of people I read some reviews and a lot of people do like these but for some reason these don't work with my skin I don't like them I'm not a big fan of sheet masks but I have found some sheet masks that I really do like and really have worked but these just don't work they, I feel like they do nothing for my skin and I feel like they do the same thing with the carbonated mask bubble bullshit. It leaves like this weird sticky, sorry my cat, it leaves like this weird sticky film on me and it feels gross. Even after I take the mask off and I rinse my face with water, it still leaves like this, this film on my face and I can't describe it and I also don't like how these masks smell. I'm, I think all of them might smell different, but I'm not sure. The ones that I still have is this one. It's called I Woke Up Like This, and it says it has wild rose and vitamin C in it. And the brand is Botanic Fiber, I think. Or maybe Biobel. I'm not even sure. I don't know. This shit, it's, they're cute. I just, this is supposed to be a primer one. Like, I just have no motivation. If you're trying to put on makeup and you're, like, like just, you know, for the everyday person putting on makeup to go to work, go to school, wherever you're going, who has time to actually put on a sheet mask primer? I just feel like it's a gimmick and I don't like it. I don't like it. It doesn't work for me. Okay, back to something that I do like. This is actually the first face... Oh, God. This is actually the first face mask that I ever purchased in my entire life, probably about a year year and a half ago maybe I don't really remember but this is the black soybean milk pudding sleeping pack by Botanic Farm and this is it right here I've actually seen this at either Ulta or Sephora I don't remember where I saw it at but I purchased this online from some website I don't even remember the website because it was so long ago it literally smells like a mixture of chocolate and coffee and caramel but it's not like over coffee like I don't know it's, um, it's a sleeping mask, so what you do is you apply it to your face before you go to sleep, and then you rinse it off in the morning, and it's really interesting, the texture of it. Like, this is what it looks like, and you can literally poke your finger in it, and it will form, and then it'll just, if you just <laughs> bounce on it, it goes right back, like there was never a hole there. It's like this weird gelatin, jelly, foam, slime. It's like a slime, that's it. And it's like this, and... I don't know how to describe it it's it's just a strange texture but I really do love it in the morning when I take it off it makes my face feel so bright and so clean 
and I really love the scent of it as well and with sleeping masks I usually get skeptical because with sleeping masks I move a lot in my sleep so I don't want something that's gonna be heavy on my face and I'm scared to roll over in my sleep on my pillows because I'm gonna get a mask everywhere but this stuff it melts into your skin you put it on your skin like I just put a little bit on my chin it melts into your skin within minutes within five minutes the mask is already gone into your face and in the morning it's not a big mess of having to clean everything take everything off your face you can just literally rinse your face with water and you're good to go it's awesome I love it and it was only like maybe 10 to 15 dollars again just like the other one I don't remember exactly but I think at Sephora and Ulta it's definitely more expensive than that but this is not that expensive and it's awesome if you're just looking for something to make your face feel clean and dewy and brightening Okay, so before I say the last thing, I just want to apologize for the lighting. The sun is going down outside, so my room is getting darker. Anyways, not the point. Okay, so the last thing that I have is the Magnetite Age Defier by Dr. Brandt. And I know a lot of people think that this is a gimmick. This is the magnet face mask that everyone talks about. You put it on your face, and it comes with this little triangle magnet like this. And it says Dr. Brandt's name on it. And you put the... You put a napkin or a paper towel or toilet paper, whatever you want to use around it like this and you put the mask on your face. I put some on my hand so I could show y'all and as you can see it's just like a regular silver mask and you put it on your face and you leave it there for 10-15 minutes however long or however little, however little you want to and you basically just go over your face like this with the magnet. You don't even have to touch your face. You can literally just go like this right over it and the mask literally comes off your face. Okay, so before I show you, the reason that this mask drew me in personally is because I really love using face masks because I love the way but I love the way they make my skin feel. I love the way that they work. I don't know. <laughs> I just love them. I like the feeling of them, but I am really messy and really clumsy and I cannot wash my face in a sink because I there's no reason. I just can't do it. I'm too messy. And I really don't like how certain face masks are so messy and they're so hard to wash off sometimes and like they smear and they get all over the place. And this one is literally mess free. All you need is this and this and you're done. You can put it on your face, you can lay in bed, and blah, blah, blah. And to take it off, you don't even have to get up out of bed. If you're lazy like me and just like to watch Netflix and eat food all day, you don't have to get up. All you need is a napkin like this and it's good. So basically, it's like this, and I'm gonna try to do this so y'all can see it. And basically, you just go like this over the mask, and look, it's literally gone. There's nothing on my hand, and it's all right here on this magnet, and it sticks to it. Even when you take the magnet off of the paper, it's still right here, and the magnet is clean. And you can just put the magnet on your fridge like I do, I put my magnet right there on my little mini fridge in my room so that way I never lose the magnet and that's it. You just crumple up the paper and you just throw it away and you're done. And most people would think how do you get any results out of this but what it does is I don't know if you can tell on camera you kind of can a little bit how it's shimmery. It leaves like a serum on your skin. Well I have it on my hand right now but it leaves like a serum on your skin kind of like a gel. It feels like I don't know how to describe it, but it kind of feels like a primer consistency. It kind of feels like the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. It's exactly what it feels like. And basically, it just stays on your skin, and you just rub it in, and then your skin is so dewy and beautiful and hydrated. And I have dry skin, so I really like things that are like this. And what I also really do like about it is not only how it makes my skin feel, it actually has helped me a lot with my acne. And I know that sounds crazy because it doesn't even claim to do that. It says that it's a skin recharging magnet mask and it's anti-aging and re energy I don't even know how to say that word. re and whatever. I don't even know how to say that. But it doesn't even claim to do that, but it really has helped me a lot. And like I said... It is $75, so it is very, very expensive, but I think it is worth it, and they do have a smaller size that I think is around $30 or $40, so if you just wanted to try it and see how you like it and then move on to this one, but I personally feel like that this is so worth it. I probably would have never bought it on my own just because of the price tag, but my boyfriend was so kind enough to get it for me, so I did get a chance to try it, and I love it, and when I run out of this, I probably will go purchase another one, even though it's a little crazy to pay $75 for a face mask. I'm trying to make this one last. I have used a lot of it. So it's going quick, 
but I really do like it. Usually what I do with it is I usually just put it in this general area right here and then I just rub the serum in everywhere after because it does spread a lot. So even if you only have it right here, you have enough serum on your face to spread it down to your chin and your forehead and everywhere. So I really do like it for a lot of reasons. Okay guys, well, that was it. Um, that was my thoughts on just some face masks that I personally own. Leave in the comments below. Oh. <laughs> Leave in the comments below if you guys have any other face masks that you like that you'd like me to try out and talk about. But yeah, that's just my thoughts on some. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if there's any other videos that you guys would like to see me do, just comment below and let me know. So thanks. Bye. By the way, guys, I know the video ended. But I just wanted to show y'all this carbonated mask is literally forming into bubbles inside the container just because I opened it and it was exposed to the air. Y'all saw in the video I literally had this open for not even one minute. I had it open for maybe 30 seconds and it's already forming and it's, you can hear it. You hear all the bubbles popping. It's literally forming right in front of my eyes. I'm throwing this away. I don't even care anymore.